as you know, here on All Ages of Geek, we love and absolutely adore to support other Kickstarter campaigns yes. and small businesses and everything in the like. But yeah, today we're going to be checking out the Kickstarter that is... Kick the Pug. Instant fun. I'm going to... Zoom it in. Look how cute it look is. Look at that. It's a literal pug. And he's just fuming. Yeah, as cuteness. soon as they reached out to us about their Kickstarter, I was like, yes, you're winning because yes. look at him. Look. That's the thing. You got good branding. You make something really cute. You're gonna, you're gonna pop off a Kickstarter. Yeah. You just know it darn well. Yes. But yeah, again, we love being able to support other Kickstarters because this is where the creativity is. A lot of independently funded projects always seems to be the best of the best. Yeah. Here's the, I don't mind other projects when it comes to not being independent, but I do prefer independent projects yes. because that's when you get the true heart of the, and the love of the story when it comes to games like this. And especially with games, it's all about playing those games with family. Yes, and if you are a fan of card games like Uno and all that good stuff, you will definitely like Anyway, we're gonna talk about the game. I'm gonna yes. read it and you're gonna do some actions. All right. Okay, Let's so. flip these over so here we go. <laughs> In this game, you go head to head with your friends for three rounds. Okay. So you need friends, get your friends, gather them. I don't have any. I don't have any. <laughs> okay. Each of which ends with a winner. I hope so. I hope someone wins. Yeah, let's go. Win two rounds to be the champion or face other winners in the final tiebreaker. To win the round, you must gain possession of the pug. Uh, Show them. The well, I gotta gain the possession right yeah, now. You gotta gain the possession of the pug. He looks. He looks like Zeus right now. Yes. While getting rid of all the other cards in your hand. So yeah, you get rid of these monkeys. Yes. There. Wait, wait. Oh. And the, there's there's the donkeys too. But donkey? Uh, he's sure. not in here. Oh, here's he's over here. Donkeys. And there's some mystical creatures too. Oh. There is only one pug in play at a time, so pay attention to who has it. And most importantly, bluff. You must be good at lying here. And I have a poker face. You gotta have a yes. poker face. You shouldn't let anyone know when you have the pug. Show them the pug. Let Again? them know that you have the pug. And no longer require Even though you're pug. not supposed to do this in gameplay, but still, we're gonna do it here so the you know what it looks like. The pug is right on here. Look at him. Yeah. Also, here's the mystical creature that I know you mentioned. Uh, they're actually really cute. Remind me a lot of Kung Fu Panda. And you guys realize how much I love Kung Fu Panda. I haven't talked about it for days. But specifically this one. Yes. But look how cute they are. There's so many. Actually, and the, the beauty of this too is I love the design. Like, it's absolutely adorable. Um, and I don't know, like, look at frogs. was really stupid. So. Also, the cards feel very nice. They do. That's another weird thing to compliment. It's, 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 it's high really, quality stuff if you are interested. It's like, I don't know how to describe it. It, it has, te it has yeah. texture. That's so weird like to that. say, but like if you're a card person and you play exactly. games, like you definitely want to know that they're high quality. Game they're not flimsy. Donkey. Hey, Donkey. Anyway. Okay. okay, perfect transition. Donkey cannot be discarded oh! in any way. So you cannot win if you have them in your hand. So if you have Donkey, I'm not winning. you're losing. But we like Donkey. Especially <laughs> Shrek. Anyway. You must find a way to give them to your opponent as soon as you can. So you want to give me the Donkey. Which because you want? want me to lose. Then you gotta pick. Okay. Wait, hold on. Which one do you want? Which one you got? <laughs> I'm, I'm dead donkey. <laughs> Oops. Donkey cannot be discarded, ever. If you just have donkey in your hand, you can activate the mystical creature. Oh, he's like dead, that's it. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> All other cards in your hands are monkeys. Show them the monkeys. So you got a blue monkey. No, no. I'm, I'm gonna say I'm it. I'm gonna say it, I can hit the monkeys. They are four colors. Blue. Show them the blue one. Whoa! Green. Come Find the green one. one. He's green. chopping. <laughs> oh, I'm breaking character. Orange. Yeah. Show them the orange one. Wowza! And <laughs> white. Show them the white one. Also, I appreciate the color. He's my choices. favorite. He's my favorite. He's a delight. Yes, he is very nice. You must just. <laughs> <laughs> it's, okay. it's, okay. it's a fun game. It's, it's all. It's all about love and family. Of course. Okay. You must discard two monkeys every turn, and perform the action corresponding to the color of the pair. <laughs> Read some oh. actions. All right. So I love this little action card you have here. Um. So let's see. You get like a random swap. So randomly swapping. Beautiful. They, oh, thank you. <laughs> and then we also have a steal. I'm gonna steal you. <laughs> We're gonna steal. Um, and then we have the mini tornado. But the beautiful, beautiful thing is also the taxes. It's always fun to me. Yeah. Um, you have to like correspond it to the color. Yeah. So it's like the actions are done based also on the cards themselves. Yeah. So it's like it really does. It feels like Uno, 
Uno? No. <laughs> Uno meets like, you know, old like Pokemon yeah. cards like Yu-Gi-Oh where it's like you have like a given like action. stat or action. Yeah. So it's like, it's not just like one of those games where you're just like, okay, I'm just gonna distribute my cards and that's that. It has more complexity to yeah. it. And at least tells you on the card. That, that's the other thing. Which is great, so if you forget, it's there. You don't have to refer to yeah. the player's hand guide. Which I have right here. <laughs> I have a player's hand guide. Anyway. Um, blah, 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 I'm performing the action. Okay. There are six actions in total. Use them wisely to get the pug. Give donkeys away or create confusion. Yeah. How do you create confusion? Do you have the, the pug? Do you? Yeah, I totally do. I'm can totally I, winning. Can I have it? No, I gave it away already. Oh no. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Great. In addition, every round is overseen by three mystical creatures. Ah, the creatures. So let's see. Uh, he's a sloth. <laughs> oh my god, this is so Oh wait, cute. I saw this. I want to show the, this because I saw this and it was staring at me this whole time. It's a sloth. And oh. I love sloths. Well, I got a sloth right here. Yeah. Oh. Beautiful. Um, this reminds me of um, Owl House. Right? Oh, yeah. A little bit. Uh, this reminds me of a little bit of Spyro. Yeah, Spyro vibes. Gotta love Spyro. He's a little penguin. Look at him. Hold on, let me show one more. What the hell is that guy? He's getting a really cool one. Give cool. <laughs> me cool. They're really all cool, but oh, this one. This actually looks like it will be like on one of Pokemon? the like Pokemon or Dragon. On one of those bags. Oh, yeah, yeah. coloring books too. Yes. Yeah. Yes, vibes. that's a really cool. Because nice. uh, I like how it glows, and this guy is just really cute. So there's a lot of them. Yeah. So pick wisely when it comes in to the in creatures. trouble. You can summon a mystical creature to make an extra play. He's falling. He's falling. So in trouble. Are you in trouble? Can you summon one? Summon one. It's literally a hippo. Let me see. What does it say on the bottom? What does he do? Each player gives their hand to the person on their left. Okay, cool. So does it actually does that help me right now? I mean, yeah, because you would get someone's card. Oh, he's cool. Perform one taxes. So they all do different things, which is cool. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> or more just, just one, just one. right? Yeah. It's, it's tax season, baby. It is. <laughs> um, mystical cre creatures will flip even the most incredible rounds. Oh my god. So basically, this is the, the card that you want to pull if you're dying and you need help. Because you can activate this effect only if you have exactly three donkeys in your hand. You win the round. So like, this will literally make you win, which is great. Oh my god. <laughs> it's low key like Naruto. Yeah, uh, that's the one that gives you taxes. Oh, damn! <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, so what's really cool about the game is it literally gives you a detailed description of how to play the game. Uh, you know what? You yeah, and it gives uh, visuals. So, if you're yeah. like me and you're really, really bad at card games, this is great for you because it literally shows you what you have to do. And uh, you know what? Yeah. You gotta love how it's branded. Yeah. They know exactly what their audience is gonna be. And it's like they took the time to give you. Because I honestly, I remember when we were young, there's I forgot what game it was, but there was like no rules. It was it was an actual game that you could get yeah. in the store. There was like no rules and it's like you, I had no idea how the heck to play it. So I'm just like we just made things up as we like went along. But with this at least they they brand it, they walk you through it. And the beauty of it too is like becoming like part of their Kickstarter also gives you those special perks. Yeah. Because again, Funding independent projects is very important because independent projects are always, you know, they're reliant on being able to be funded yeah. by crowdfunding or sources like Kickstarter. And that's why we love being able to support people like this because it, they, these are the originality to it. It's not just like a huge company producing the same type of card games over and over again. Yeah. You know, and as independent media, we totally understand that because in terms of just being able to fund other people as well and help their business plans and help them in general as creators, Creators, that's something that we thrive for and something that we want to do as we continue the mission of all And what, what is awesome though is on their Kickstarter, which will be linked down below, uh, they have a nice video of them yes. talking about the game, but it when I tell you, the reason why I was so excited was, was because of that video. It is funny. You can you meet the people who actually created the game yep. and you can tell how passionate they are That's about the, the game. So like if you are a person who is like, okay, like I want to support this person, but I don't really know who they are. Definitely check out their video because exactly. it is funny. <laughs> and it's, in terms of like card games, like honestly, it's like you gotta be a certain person to be able to create card games because you gotta know like the rules, the rules, how to like be tactful, you know, you how to be fair so one person isn't always winning. <laughs> Put that away wrong, but it's fine. Okay, at the end of the day though, is that it was the, this it's was the quality really is really nice. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how to like honestly explain this to you guys because like you you're, wait you can hear yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Come say it some more. But no, it's just like 
it, to be able to support people that are creating card games, like, you know, even like when they do board games or anything like that, it's like, again, you have to be a specific type of person to be able to understand how card games are created yeah. or maybe because sometimes even when you're creating the card game, you also can get confused. Wait, do you have your phone? Because this actually brings you to their website. No way. Shut up. Also, it's, uh, you have to have three to eight players. I it's didn't mention that phone. before. But... And it's for ages seven and up. Oh my god. So yeah, you see that they're, they're um, the Kickstarter to go live, as you can see. Yeah, and it says who they're created by down here. Oh, their website's great. It's very branded. The little pug that's up there is really cute. Oh my god, so yeah, you could, it's, again, it's like ages seven and up. Yeah. It's really cool to put videos there. Oh, and their cards move when you oh, scroll. Oh, that's nice. I'm not gonna do it now, but if you go on the website, <laughs> anyways, I keep messing up. <laughs> the monkey. Do. Oh, look at them. Okay, yeah, so the beauty of this too is like being able to kind of like see that they can make more games like this because a lot of people don't focus on like the family fun anymore. Like, it's, it's really a shame because, you know, when we were growing up, we loved games like, like Game of Life or Monopoly or even like simple Go Fish type of games. It's like a lot of that, why we loved it, I was leaving this upside down. A lot of the reasons why we loved it is because it was family fun. And I feel like a lot of people skip out on those games now because like some of the card games that you see is just for like older audience, which is fine, 100% like yeah. it's totally for that as well. But it's like there's not enough. Yeah, this is for the so the seven and the up. And up like, that's the thing. It's like because it's in a way because they have those discussions. You are able to have like you know fun with your family. You know, as much as we do love technology and apps and like geek culture and everything else, sometimes it's good to be able to hold. It's literally things. awesome. Like when we got this in the mail, you know? I was like, oh, it's so cool. It's like it brings you back to the days when you were like playing games with your family, and this is for for holidays too. Yeah. So you know, to be able to help them get this is a big thing. Like. All these people are doing a humble thing. Like they want to entertain your family. They want to be able to provide out, out gaming and entertainment yeah. for your family. So they want to be able to do that. And to, in order for this to get in stores and for, in order for this to be distributed, support them on Kickstarter. You know, a lot of projects on Kickstarter, they either pop off or they don't because it's like, it's the matter of not even just marketing. Discovery. It's the it's the whole discovery thing where it's like, if you want to be able to support people, just do it. Because if you read their story, you watch their video, it's a humble cause and it's all about entertaining you and your family. Yeah. So check them out. All the links will be in the description the down pug. below. Do it for the pup. Do it for him. He would do it for you. Him. He would do He's it for so you. He's so wonderful. Support the pup. Don't hit the pup. He's, he's <laughs> anyway, guys, we have a new amazing day. So we're still going to be so awesome. So let's finish fangirl play with fan person every single day. Bye. Bye.